what's up guys and welcome to today's video in today's video we are going to be returning to work on the 04 silverado that we worked here before on the channel uh, the truck that's right here behind me and today i really want to start getting to work on this frame um, I'll show you guys right now the frame it's you know it's pretty rusty um, there's no rot but I do want to clean it up I do want to sand it down I am gonna spray it um, I got a gallon of paint um, so I just want to just want to restore the frame a little bit and while the box is off and just protect it and give it a little a uh, little bit more life and just clean things up a bit um, so I'm probably going to do the back portion of the frame and um, underneath the cab as well so this is basically what we're dealing with um, you know a little bit of surface rust a little bit of scaling stuff like that um, so we're gonna go through sand we're gonna grind clean this up and we're gonna give it a nice paint I picked up a gallon of paint um, we're not going to worry too much about these shocks because they're getting replaced um, so we're not going to worry if any paint gets on that um, this is what we did in the last video when we worked on this truck I am going to go through just before we start working on the frame I'm going to I'm going to go through here and I'm going to clean up uh, the cab corners um, on each side and uh, I'm gonna clean up some of this bodywork here, like real quick. Um, but I am gonna go. Uh, I am gonna go ahead, and I'm going to, uh, you know, sand, and I'm gonna paint from here, from here back. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about too much of the front end right now because I believe I'm redoing uh, these dual shocks in the front, uh, new upper control arms. Uh, plus I'm doing like new ball joint stuff like that. So um, this I'm going to worry about later on because I can do this after the truck is painted if I choose to. Um, or it doesn't really matter, but uh, I just want to get from here um, to the back of the truck um, all finished up. Uh, so that's pretty much going to be today's today's project. Um, just you know, getting this cleaned up. It's really it's really not too bad. Um, it's not going to be you know too too hard, um, but I do want to get through. I do want to grind it all down. I want to sand it real nice, and then we are going to shoot it. I'll show you guys the paint after, and. Uh, you know, we'll give this thing a little bit, a uh, little bit more life here. So if you guys haven't been here before, make sure you guys go check out some of my other videos. And you guys can kind of see how the truck um, got to this point. Uh, I got the box here behind me stood up. That is going to be, uh, you know, we're, we're going to get to that real soon. The box is almost ready for primer and paint. Just got a little bit more spot putty to do um, and stuff like that on some small little spots. Um, but other than that, the box is, uh, the box is A-OK. -okay. So uh, let's get straight into uh, cleaning up these cap corners a little bit uh, because that's something I really do want to do first. And then, uh, you know, we'll get to, uh, we'll get to sand down this frame and we'll shoot over some paint. Cleaned up a lot of the frame here. Um, 
Not as much as I'd like to and I you know when I was starting um, to really go at the frame here I noticed a lot of it's pitted and the only real way to do this 100% properly is going to be uh, you know drop the gas tank um, you know strip strip the cab off and you know you're you're talking full full sandblasting now to get it 100% um, but I did go through here and I did clean up you know a fair bit of it cleaned up all the scaling stuff like that um, enough so you know the paint will stick and we'll get a good um, nice coat I went ahead and I did that cab corner we started um, I didn't do the other cab corner and stuff on this side just because of the fact that uh, the truck was flipped the other way in the garage um, but we are going to uh, jack up the rear end here and uh, we are gonna pop off these rear tires. I'm probably not gonna be able to shoot this side of the frame because it's really close. Um, so we'll jack it up, we'll take off the tires, we'll be able to shoot all of this, and then we'll be able to shoot the passenger side um, frame as well. Let's get this thing jacked up right now and then we'll start uh, opening up the paint and then uh, we'll mix it up and then uh, we'll get to spraying. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to spray. What I'm going to be painting the frame um, with is this uh, satin black enamel paint. Um, it's a good industrial paint. Um, you can use it on frames or any other industrial parts. Uh, there's other stuff you can use. Uh, you can use Pour 15, Frame Saver. Uh, it doesn't really matter um, what you go with. If you go with something like this, um, you're still going to be fine. This is definitely something that's a little more uh, budget friendly. Um, along with this, I got lacquer tool and equipment cleaner. Um, you're going to use this um, to clean out our gun. Um, and stuff like that after we're done. Um, I got all our mixing cups. I don't have any uh, filters. Uh, you know, when you pour the paint in, you are supposed to filter it. I don't have any. Um, this gun, um, I, I'm only gonna use this gun for frame parts and stuff like that. And uh, we are uh, we are just uh, spraying the frame. So uh, I think we're gonna be able, be able to pass without the filter today. And I got some xylene um, to thin the paint down, um, depending on how it sprays. Um, you can use this stuff um, to thin it down. Um, this is ready to spray out of the can, but if you do not like the way it's spraying, all you gotta do is thin it down a little bit. So I went ahead and I shook this up a little bit. We're gonna crack it open right now. So let's crack this open. There we go. I am going to be using a suction feed gun. If you want to use a top feed gun, um, you can sure do that. Um, I'm going to be using a top feed when I paint the actual truck. It's just that I already have this gun. My wife bought it for me before. Uh, I just want to put it to good use. And uh, suction feed's good for shooting uh, stuff like frames. So uh, we're going to be using that today. I also put in air pressure regulator. Um, on this also I went in and I installed a little water filter separator on the air tank because you are going to want to fill out any water particles that are in your air lines. Um, that's one good thing that you guys always got to remember uh, when you're painting. You definitely don't want any water in there. So we are going to go ahead and we'll start. Okay, so I can already tell that I am going to have to thin this down. because that's way too thick. Okay guys, so since there's no specific ratio of where to mix this paint, I'm gonna start out with a one to one ratio um, and we're gonna kind of see how it goes from there. And uh, I'll just kind of let you guys know how it goes. All right guys, so once you guys pour it in to the proper ratio, um, like we used a one-to-one -one here, uh, just give it a good nice stir, mix it up real nice. 
Once you guys have gone ahead and mixed this, you guys can pour it into your uh, canister right here. Like I said, you are supposed to use a filter. Um, I don't have a filter, um, but you know we're gonna be able to get away with it um, with the suction feed and just spraying it on the frame. If your hands are dirty and have any paint on them, try to wipe it off. That way you can keep your gun clean. It's okay to have everything all messy, but once your gun starts uh, getting dirty, it's hard to uh, it's hard to clean it. And it's gets away on you. It's hard to maintain after that. Our canister in place here. We are, we are gonna uh, we're gonna flip you guys around, and we're pretty much just gonna go to town here, and we're gonna start spraying away. So this is going pretty good so far. Um, you know, you can see how it's scaled underneath um, the prior condition to the frame. I mean, overall, it's looking really, really good. Um, I'm really just concerned from this point um, to this point right now. I did go through and I did lay a couple coats um, along here, but you know, this part, you know, it's looking, it's looking good so far. You know, don't mind the shocks. Like I said before, these shocks are getting replaced. Um, not a big deal, but I get, did go through and lay a couple coats down. I am gonna go through again right now, um, but I had an idea, um, you know, since this box is pretty rusted and you know, if you guys, you know, I know you guys might think this looks bad, but this is an 04 box, Canadian box. I mean, there is no holes through it. It is all just surface. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through with a wire brush, hit this really, really quick. And then uh, I think I'm gonna give it a nice coat or two coats, a nice paint. You know, that way uh, that way it is coated at the end of the day. Um, I know it's all starting to flake and stuff like that. Um, and it isn't the best, but I am gonna go through. I'm gonna clean some of this off and then we'll just go through and then we'll just spray it. Um, especially with the wheel arches. These are all new wheel arches. Um, so there's all new welds in there and we can just go through and protect it. And that'll give us something to do while we're waiting for that to dry. been spraying the beds turned out really really good and uh, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do another coat um, on the truck right now um, it's pretty much dry um, 
So it looks really, really good overall. This is the results that we got um, with the bed. And I actually did find a hole in the bed here. I remember so that, you know, there's not any holes, but it ended up does. But yeah, I laid a couple coats on here. It turned out really, really good. Um, the gallon's going pretty far. Um, I mean, I've used about, uh, let's see how much actually. So I can tell you guys how much I've used. Just over half, half a gallon. Um, I have been reducing it with the xylene, so uh, just over half a gallon, but this one's also full um, right now. So I'm probably just gonna spray uh, that container right now um, on this part, back part of the frame. The last coat on the back part of the frame here, I did go ahead and I painted the drive shaft. I found it actually a pretty good way to paint it. What I did was, since it's on the jocks, I just threw her in drive and then I uh, and then I just held the paint gun along, along the drive shaft as, as it was spinning. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these, uh, these uh, tires on the back and I might spin it around and paint the front, not too sure, um, but I'm gonna put these on right now and then we're gonna, we're gonna kind of look and see how, uh, how the paint's drying on the back here. Turned out pretty good, um, it's already dry. Um, Give it a nice thick coat, multiple layers all the way around. Um, the only thing we gotta do in the rear end now is just come through, uh, swap out these shocks like I said before. Um, but, but, uh, but this part uh, turned out really, really good. It's a nice thick coat. Um, I like the finish on it. The back of the bed here, this part's uh, this part's all dry. Um, turned out really, really good. My hands are dirty, so it looked a little bit of a mark, but I think I am gonna shoot some of this front end, the red um, and stuff like that. Um, I'll try to do the best job I can, and then afterwards, when I do rip apart the suspension, I'll do this. Uh, I'll do this fully. Um, I'll go through and I'll do a really nice uh, coat of paint on it. But for right now, um, I'll go through and I'll just uh, I'll just throw a quick coat on it all the way around. That way, the whole frame is uh, is done all the way around, and uh, I don't gotta worry about it. Uh, the only thing I gotta worry about is uh, touching up the front end um, parts there after I rip it uh, after I rip it apart in the near future here. Um, so I'm gonna mix up some more paint. I thought I was kind of done for the night. Um, so I kind of took everything apart and I was kind of cleaning it. I took the needle out and all the other pieces that were inside the paint gun. Um, that's how you properly clean it. So I'll kind of assemble everything back together, mix up some more paint and we'll get right into uh, shooting this front end. So we are all done with the frame paint. Let me show you guys exactly what it's looking like here. Um, you know, you got the front end, everything's nice, it's glossy. Um, it'll dry more matte. You know, you got everything all done underneath here. I did end up doing the drive shaft, like I said before. I will cut the logo, I will put uh, Auto House um, probably on maybe two sides of the drive shaft, not sure. Um, you know, this the, the, the finish is honestly not bad. Um, for the amount of prep work that was done in the, 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 you know, the condition of the frame. Like I said, there's still a scaling and stuff underneath. Um, but, you know, you got everything painted all along. Um, you got all this painted. And uh, I went in and I made sure I got everything in the front end here all nicely coated black so there's nothing really to worry about honestly overall i think the stuff i use great great product would i use it again 100 percent you know you can use other products you know frame saver pour 15 all that other kind of stuff uh, if you want to spend the money by by any means uh, go ahead and spend it um, you know the stuff I used I'm happy with it. I can oil spray over top so I always maintain the vehicle I wash it stuff like that especially in the winter this truck's not going to be winter driven um, at least by not me anyways um, You know if it is winter driven, you know, you know most likely somebody will take care of it um, If they do own it or just use that or as a work truck uh, regardless um, You know this paint will hold up for the most part. So 
Um, as you guys can see, a lot, a lot of mess to clean up. Um, whatever you paint, I mean, especially that stuff, a lot, a lot of overspray, leftover dust. Um, it's all over here, that's not too big of a deal. It's all over, uh, it's all over the hood. So that's gonna conclude today's video, guys. Absolutely filthy, look at me. Um, in the next video, we're probably gonna be doing a little bit of body work, um, so stay tuned for that. Um, video coming on the toolbox soon, probably. I know I did a video on that when I got the toolbox. Um, I got, I'm probably gonna have some stuff coming for that. I'm working on filling it. Um, I want to get it all filled, filled nicely. I already got a lot of stuff organized in there um, already, so I'm really happy about that. And uh, I'm really happy how the box, the bottom side of the box turned turned out, so at least that's coated. So the frame's coated, the underside of the box is coated. So basically now we're on to just, just body work, uh, which is really exciting. So like I said, guys, that's gonna be everything for today. Um, I uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next one when we do some body work. See ya.